Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of how to create a Spigot plugin for 1.15. In this episode, we will be going over how to create a test server, because you will need a test server to test all the different kind of plugins we'll be creating throughout the series. Now, to create a test server, it's really simple. There's two different ways you can do it. Uh, one way will be using build tools, and the other way will just grab the jar file from a website. But I'll show you the official way, and that is using build tools. So go to new folder. And we're going to name this folder Build Tools. You will need to download Build Tools, and I'll leave all the links for everything in the description below. But go ahead and hop over to the Build Tools site on uh, Spigot MC. Scroll all the way down till you see Running Build Tools, and we'll go ahead and download this. All right, once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this jar file into our folder. Now, to run build tools, you'll need two things. Like I said, you'll need Java and you'll need Git. If you don't have Git installed, I don't have Git installed. It'll automatically install for you when you run build tools. So don't click on this or do anything. Go ahead and open up command prompt. Or if you are on Mac, open up a terminal. So once you're in command prompt, Type in cd space and then go over to this build tools right here and just drag it over. We're basically just going to put ourselves inside this folder. Once you're inside this folder, go back over to the site, scroll a little further down until you see versions. Now, this latest version to date is 1.15.1. .1, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy everything right here. I could copy the latest, you'll just download this, not, not a problem. Uh, you can do this for whatever version you want. If you want to code a 1.8 plugin, scroll down to 1.8.8, .8, copy that, and put it in there. So what, this is basically whatever Spigot uh, version you want to run. So we're going to create a 1.15.1. .1. So I'm going to paste what I just copied into here, and press Enter. Now, like it says, could not find portable Git, so it's going to download Git, and that's what it's doing right here, right now. So once it downloads Git, it's going to go ahead and download all the necessary tools it needs for the Spigot download. Now this is just building the Spigot uh, jar file that you will need to run your server with. If you don't want to do all this build tool stuff, then you could just go over to a website, uh, getbucket.org, and just download the version you want. Now this isn't official, uh, it could be viruses. I, this site's pretty trustworthy. I use this site a lot. So if you just want to go ahead and download the, the jar file instead of doing what we're doing, you can do that. But we're, we're going to stick with the build tools path. Now this is going to take a little bit to go ahead and load up build tools and go ahead and create the, the file. But uh, I'll be right back when the file is created. All right. My build tools just ended and you'll see success. Everything completed successfully. And you'll see inside the build tools folder, the spigot 1.15.1 .1 jar file will be right here. So once this is done, go ahead and exit out of the command prompt right now. And if you haven't already, create a spigot 1.15. I'll rename this folder actually. To 1.15.1. Once you create this folder, we'll go ahead and throw that spigot download in there. We can exit out of this folder, we don't need that anymore. So inside the Spigot server folder, go ahead and right click, create a new text document. I'm gonna name this document start. So then inside this start text, we're gonna need to type in something. And let me go over to the Spigot site to find the exact text that we need. So I'll leave this link in the description below, of course. And we're going to scroll down to Windows. So if you're running Linux or if you're running uh, Macs in here too, let's go ahead and just copy all that stuff in there. So we are going to be using this one right here, the Windows. Go ahead and copy everything in there. Go over to the document again, paste it, and then we're going to name this. Make sure you change the name of the spigot jar to a, what we have in the folder. So we have it spigot dash 1.15.1. .1. 
and then now that that's in there, this is just a real quick to show you what this is. This right here is saying it's from one gig, so it's be a one gigabyte server. And then now that we have that inside our start text, go ahead and save it. Actually, we're gonna do a file, save as. You're gonna name it start dot bat. Now, if you're on Mac, I think it's start dot run or start. I forget what it is again. Sorry, you might have to look that up. But uh, start dot bat if you're on Windows. And then we can exit out of this. And then once we have that, you can go ahead and delete the text file. And then we'll go ahead and double click on this Windows batch file. It's going to open up command prompt. And you'll see it says you'll need to agree to EULA. Go ahead and exit out of this. And you'll see a bunch of different things loaded in here. We'll click on EULA. And we're going to set this from false to true. Save this. And then we're just going to click on start again. Double click on that. And open this up. And now it's going to create our server. And then that's it. We are done. So now, if you haven't ran a server before, just, there's a few things in here you need to know. For plugins, all we use in this series is this plugins folder. So if you just go ahead and save the plugin that we coded into this folder, it will just run automatically. And I'll show you that real quick. So if you're following along from the last episode, this is our plugin we created. And if you right click on Hello World, go to Export. Go to make sure you click on jar file. Go to next. And then let's browse and let's find that server. Spigot 1.15.1 server. We'll go to plugins and we're gonna save it right into there and press finish. Now we see our server is done loaded. If we go into our plugins folder, you'll see our hello in there. And that's how you create a test server. Now, let me load up Minecraft and show you how to log on to here. Now, with Minecraft loaded up, I already have the test server right here. Uh, but go ahead and go to Add New Server. And uh, you can name the server whatever you like. And then for the server address, it'll just be localhost. And then you can log right into the server. And then here's our server. This is your test server. From the last episode, type in slash hello. Oh, don't permission. All right, now with me opt, if I type in slash hello, you'll see what we did last episode, the hello message. All right, now that you have your test server created, go ahead and start testing out some new Minecraft plugins. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.